that's what's like incredibly difficult is when all of the pressure and the stress is riding on you. How do you maintain that cool to be able to go back to, okay, this is the plan and this is what we're going to do. That's not easy. Yeah, definitely not. No. And, and it's, uh, it's probably again, this, this love for challenges and love for, uh, I, what I, I what I like about those moments is that I like the pressure it creates on me because people are putting their trust. Once once we've built a relationship where people have trust in me, when that situation comes, the pressure is on me, and I enjoy that pressure. I, I really enjoy it, and uh, uh, I also know that because I have these great relationships with these people, they will come and face the challenge with me. Uh, they're just waiting for me to tell what to do. And yeah. uh, uh, so, so, so yeah, it, it's, it's, it's interesting. And I think also one aspect for me, at least as a director, is that I've kept uh, using the same people in my team. When I find someone that we work well with, uh, I try to keep them with me along the journey. So I had this one cinematographer guy who used to work with me when I did the first music videos yeah. and we were kind of growing together and we created this language. We started to understand each other just from the body language. Like, okay, now he needs space. Yeah. Now he needs help. He, then we had these different words that we created to kind of to help us on set and keeping those relationships going. And once, when I get a new opportunity, I bring him up. And when he gets a new opportunity, he brings me up that way. When you have these people around you that we all grow together it's the set life gets becomes just better and better all the time because then you're having this group of people who are really strongly molded together uh, throughout the years and that's definitely these days my what i enjoy the most is just because when i go on set mostly it's just my good friends that we we meet on set and we do do the magic i i love that and you know in in running a business i almost feel it's, it's the exact same way. Like when you find people that really believe and you, and they want to grow with the company, you kind of keep them close. And with every opportunity, you're giving them more and more responsibility. You had to have faced this then, which is you get close to these people, whether it's, uh, you know, you're directing a team, whether you have your own company and these are your team members or employees, you get close to them, you develop these relationships with them. And in many cases, they're unable to keep up with the growth of you or your company. And then the relationship is standing there in the way of like, well, there's loyalty, there's the relationship, there's the want for them to continue. Have you encountered that? Yeah, there, there's, there's been times, luckily not too many, but there, there have been those moments where, where, um, Either, either because of outside pressure, so there might be a producer who says that now you are the new guy, you're rising to this level, but yeah. because you're the risk, we want to bring in other people who are not risky, so kind oh, of more experienced people. I see. And then you, I, I'm not allowed to bring my friends. Uh, and the other one is that, uh, well, now, for example, um, in the past year, uh, we've had a lot of very different kind of projects, which have kind of been become more technology oriented, like virtual production things. Yeah. And it's been a giant leap forward. And the speed of the growth and development in that area has been crazy. And I've noticed now that some people who are a bit more on the traditional side around me haven't been able to stay, stick along in the, or yeah. stay in the train that's kind of been going forward now. And, uh, that when in those moments, it also comes back to this, um, the level of health healthiness in the relationship. So uh, if, if it's actually a solid relationship, then those things are, those are just like obstacles and you'll get over them. And it, the, the relationship will still be there, even though the business or the job or the, the case might, might kind of uh, separate us, but, but the relationship is there. So, so definitely there's been those moments, but they're, yeah, I don't like, they're, they're not easy. No, it's, it's one of those things that as business owners ourselves, I, I found that we have 
many times over the past decade plus of, of running our businesses, we've made bad decisions because we, uh, focus just on the relationship and the loyalty of the end of the energy. But in reality, the person can't keep up with the pace that the company is growing and they're ending up kind of letting down their teams and they're letting down the people that are around them and they're making it difficult for others. And we fall into this pattern of kind of, uh, at least we used to, we had to learn this lesson that, you know, in these cases, being their friend is being upfront and then cutting it off when we feel like it's not going to, it's not going to work. Uh, but that was a, a, a very difficult lesson. And, and before we learned that lesson, it was giving them repeated chances and they would just stumble and fail and let people down over and over and over where to the point where they didn't feel good about themselves either. It was like, it, it was a very, but it was a, such an unusual thing to see that like in, in many cases you could lift each other up and grow at an accelerated pace. And in many cases you're moving so fast that the people, some people around you can't keep up and it's, you have to get to this place where it's okay to let go and to say, let me give you some time and some space to figure your own stuff out. Yeah, yeah that's true. And I, I remember once I had this situation with, with a friend uh, or a, a person that I worked with that who became a friend, a good friend. And uh, pretty much this situation that you described happened. So so we we got into situations where he was constantly kind of a bit over his head and couldn't manage to keep up with, with, yeah. with, uh, with the pace. And, uh, after I think we, we tried to struggle through it for at least a year. Yeah. And then at some point we just, I, I decided that we had to kind of talk about it. And then, uh, when I brought it up, he felt super relieved because he was like, actually he felt that he, well, like you said, it's not good for your own morale when it's just, everything's just not yeah. going like you're hoping and uh what ended happening was that it actually set him free and he found the thing that he really enjoyed to do once he was just set free from this kind of lock that we had created with the relationship and uh, now he he's found his thing and he's super good in that thing and he 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 knows what he's doing there and it actually ended up being a great situation but it's again those things where we, we just kind of it's change is hard and, and yes. especially when it's kind of uh, when you have the personal relationship involved. That's interesting because in your case, like the relationship goes both ways. Right. So in in the case that you just described, he likely would not have moved on to that next thing. He, he likely wouldn't have found it because he also had that loyalty to you of like, I got to I got to make Lowry yeah. proud of me. I got to do this. I got to like it, it's kind of this two way thing that in some cases you have to recognize and say it's, it's best that we change and move, you know, move forward here in a different direction or, or give the person just some space to kind of figure things out or whatnot. But, um, it's funny how, when we're, when he's in that situation, he didn't make the right decision for himself either. So it was mm, exactly like it, it can lead both people to basically, you're not making the right decision for the business, nor are you making the right decision for yourself, nor is it the right decision for the relationship. Exactly. Yeah. But I think uh, this, like for me, what I've, I've noticed now in the past years is uh, that it's really important to be brave enough to do change and kind of embrace, embrace change. And that's kind of been my, my path since trying to become an investment banker, then yeah. actually shifting to photography, then shifting into directing, then actually setting up a production company, struggling through a few years of trying to make some relationships that didn't work, trying to get them to work, uh, then actually ending the production company, setting myself free and getting a whole new like speed into what I've been doing now. And each time it's been this like, each time that I, I do the change, I try to remi remind myself what, uh, that next time I'll do it quicker because mm -hmm. I've noticed every time you're brave enough to change, things usually end up good for you. But uh, doing that change, uh, sometimes it takes a year to just think about the change before you're you're kind of brave enough to do it. So I'm, I'm trying to embrace change faster and also like the failing forward idea of just like failing quicker failing faster and, and, and kind of all the time keeping 
fa- failing forwards so that yeah. you're, you're all the time running forward even though you're failing. 